What's going on, everybody? It is the Talking Yanks PPPs pregame, whatever you want to call it. It's called the Player Profile and Projections, not the pregame. Doing too many things at once. If you're not used to this, we have done it for the last two seasons. As soon as pitchers and catchers report, we go to an episode a day, every day, until opening day. It's a lot of fun, quick hitters, and they are on each individual player. So it's exciting. And today's star is Garrett Allen Cole. On December 16th of 2019, Garrett Cole signed a $324 million contract for the Yankees, the largest contract in Major League history for a pitcher. Did you know that, Jake? Hey, everyone. I'm Jake. Welcome to the PPPs. And we are. Garrett Cole, I did know that, Jim. Uh, we were together when that was announced, actually. And yeah, we. Uh, if you are new to the PPPs, welcome. You're going to get a weird mix of stats, silliness, and projections Ooh, need another s word out of here but uh yeah man i'm i'm excited we we roll it literally every day up until they roll the ball up there there's a tagline or something and rolling, we figure we'd rolling, start rolling, out rolling start out with the bang uh the big bang of the off season gac gack garrett allen cole he's a pitcher you're mm-hmm. gonna have to fill fill in the blanks for me yeah, the thing about Cole is, Jake, he wasn't on the Yankees last season. Where was he? He was with the Houston Astros, a familiar oh. fa. Oh, oh. Do you hear that bang in the background? Wow. Oh, Jokes right away. Someone banging a trash can? Someone sleeping with my wife? Yes and yes. Okay. Same guy doing it simultaneously. Trash can jokes. <laughs> Same guy. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's brutal. Yeah, it's quick. We did start with a bang, man. Garrett Cole. Did you know he's from Newport Beach, California, Jake? I knew he was a Californian. Yeah, you know he's got I a knew. kind of like a crazy voice. He's got an interesting voice. Interesting voice. Interesting. Uh, I have a question for you about Garrett Cole, and I don't know sure. if we're getting too deep into the weeds. Did you know that he's in the ninety-six percentile for fastball spin? I knew that. Do you that, know he's in the 97th percentile for fastball velocity? That's uh, These are things I do know. Yeah, he's he's really good. It's kind of been a fun offseason for baseball in general. We got Houston stuff. Uh, cold to the Yankees. We had a big free agency. A lot of guys signed. And yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like since Cole signed, and he was our only move this offseason... Really, it's felt like a quiet Yankee offseason, but we forget that we might have acquired the best pitcher in baseball. Easily one of the top five best pitchers in baseball right now. Three. Didn't win the Cy Young. Who do you got, DeGrom and Verlander? I think it's him and DeGrom. I mean, he was better than Verlander last year, but Verlander got the award for being a good guy. Well, he's respectable. Yeah, honest, honorable. Wouldn't cheat the game. The Yankees have needed a true ace like Garrett Cole for a while. Yeah. CeCe was that dude. Then he wasn't that dude. I, no knock on CeCe. We love what he became. But, you know, a, a true big dick swinging ace. And, Jim, I, I think I'm going to go back further than that, man. And you and I, we, we discussed this on one of the podcasts recently, but it won't be as recently because this is delayed release. So, oh, here we are. Wow. What was that John Madden? But uh, I, I was saying, you know, Cole's going to be something we haven't seen before in an ace. And, I, you know, you, you made some Seve, Seve 2017, who Seve had an incredible 2017. I mean, I think he was 298. It was amazing. Um, he, he was great. Jim, a couple jakey analytics I dug into to just show how different Garrett Cole is going to be from 2017 Seve. Jim, in 2017, Luis Severino, in his dominant season, five of his 31 starts, he had double-digit strikeouts. That's good. It's real good. We're, we're not even a big strikeout pod, but if you strike out double digits in a game, you're dominating. You're a strikeout guy, or are you coming down on that a little bit? 
I mean, I, I enjoy the strikeout, and it's better than a guy hitting a line drive to short. I, I will say that in front of the microphone. I am confident. Oh, you're brave. So, Luis Severino, 2017, five out of 31 starts. And Sevy was dominant that year and awesome to watch, right? He was a bully on the mound. Garrett Cole, last year, 21 of his 33 starts, he had double-digit strikeouts. That's stupid. You're telling me stupid stuff right now. And that's where I'm trying to say, like, we, and even when you said CC, like, my eyebrow raised, and I'm like, you're right. Like, 09 CC, he's one of the best pitchers in the league, dominant. Cole is on a different level than anything I think we've seen in pinstripes. CC Sabathia, like, 09 to 12 was really good. I mean, I, I don't know. The strikeout numbers might be different, but I, like, he was, he was a beast. Like he was yeah. fantastic, and and there's no arguing that. I mean, he he's the he's ERA is the ERA isn't going to be under three. I'm looking at it now for CC, but I mean, in you won. I mean, in 2011 it was three on the nose. So I mean, he was he was there, and I mean, 237 innings with 230 strikeouts. I mean, that's a crazy season. And again, it's not a shot at CC. It's not a shot at Sevy. But this dude is out of his mind right now. And that's going to be the biggest question mark is the transfer from Houston because he saw massive success there when he came from Pittsburgh before that. He was good. He had some highs and lows. In Houston, he reached a level of baseball that we've seen very few pitchers reach. Like I said, CC, and again, this is going back to the strikeouts a little more, which, again, they're not everything, but they show a sign of dominance and you just can't do anything with this. He had 326 strikeouts last year. CC in the season we're referencing 2011. He had 230, which was his his second most in a season ever. It wasn't on the Yankees before that, but that's like a hundred less strikeouts. A lot of strikeouts. How about this, Jake? Here's some for the geeks that like the stats. Sure. When he went to the Astros, he basically scrapped his sinker, which I'm guessing was a two seamer altogether. Goodbye. And- Goodbye, sinker. Uh, I mean, in 2015, he threw it 16% of the time. His last season with the Pirates, he threw it 13% of the time. As soon as he got to the Astros, it went to 6% and then 2.4% last year. And what he did was only the fastball, only the four-seam fastball, elevate it in the zone, throw fuck you fastballs, dare guys to swing at it and miss it. So I think we should see that continue like I like I don't think the Yankees need to change their pitch pitch mix we can compliment the Astros and Brent Strom and the pitching coach over there because they're really good at making guys believe in that and changing their mix we have a new pitching coach but I don't think there's much tinkering to do with Cole he kind of found found it he also he also took the change up out you know he took he dropped that from 10 percent to to four percent and then seven percent last year and he notched up the slider a lot from 17 to 23, and the curve is there. But he's really slider fastball. Yeah, and I, I think you it's not just a fluke. Um, you know, some people are going to point to Houston and say they were up to funny business, and, it, you know, it's stuff we can openly talk about now. They, they kind of tried to make a super pine tar that it's well believed that the Houston guys were do, using. Um, I think the Yankees are doing it as well. So Yeah, I, I think most of baseball is at this point. And I, I think the bigger thing is it's not like, you know, Garrett Cole, if, if you're a baseball fan, you've seen him for a while. The dude was the number one pick. He came up in 2013. When he put it all together for Houston the past two years, it was his age 27 and 28 season. Sometimes guys in baseball break out a little later. Do I think what ha- was happening in Houston helped? A little bit. Do I think Verlander probably helped? Yep, Strom, all of it. I think when you put all of it together into Garrett Cole's ideal pitching frame, he's what, 6'5", 225, he's Cashman's white whale, you can put stuff together that I think the biggest fear factor from Yankee fans is like just looking at those two Houston years, and they are outliers from everything else at this point. Do you think the white whale is a good nickname? Do you think it should stick? I feel like you and I haven't had this conversation out because we've had some people that are kind of involved with us pushing the white whale a little bit. Feels kind of like a tough nickname. 
Yeah, it's kind of like what you were called back when you were 5'4", 200. If Cole gets thick, I think I'm in. Or but starts kinda, blowing water out the back of his neck. If he ever spouts water, and maybe he will. I mean, maybe if that, if like, I need one more connection besides Brian Cashman wanting Garrett Cole's. Like if Garrett Cole has a thing where between every innings he spits water at his mouth, all in on White Whale. But what about I, the fact I, that... I need what about one the more fact that Gary is the Kraken, so you have the white whale pitching to El Kraken. I saw a little of that. I mean, we're starting to get into a slippery slope there because if those two turn into sea life, now we're doing a whole nautical team, and I just I don't know if that's what we need or want. No, I'm out. I don't really like the white whale. Okay. I don't like Kraken either, though. I just go El Gary. There's a lot of Cole references that we've done. Cole trains pretty good. Go buy a shirt. Cole 45. Jake, Jake, I have another question for you. Okay. Do you know that Cole is married to Amy Crawford, who's Brandon Crawford's sister? I did know that. Did yeah. know that. They're brother, brothers-in-law. Baseball family. Baseball family, yeah. 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 And, uh, A lot of I listeners maybe didn't know that. That's the other thing that I feel like we've we've kind of buried the lead on here, Jim, was the press conference in general. Garrett Cole came in and had... Uh, press conference for the ages just crushed it front to start and I, Amy Cole deserves just as much credit she was killing front it. front to start is front to interesting start. how much how much movement is there from the front to the start when you're at the front yeah okay you got to go all the way back around to the start Jim <laughs> oh full lap yeah I get it I get it I get it read one book. um uh <laughs> <laughs> on January first, twenty twenty, Amy Cole announced that she's pregnant and due in June with his first son. So, are you aware he might try to take the whole month of June off for uh, paternity leave? I mean, are you okay with that? To. Are you okay with that? Everyone should be. If you're not, you're the problem. Next. The whole month? I'd kind of be okay with it. June. We'll Keep be good. We'll pro probably a 10-game lead by that point. He misses a start. Yeah, he gives him a start. And congrats. Hopefully, you know, we don't get the new dad blues uh, injury bug with him. Yeah, you and I have to talk more about that, too, because we, we kind of scared ourselves today thinking about spring training and the new dad crew getting hurt last year. Batances, who else got hurt? Sevy, Sevy, I believe, yeah. So, yeah, that's a little mini what to watch for, but – uh, genuinely that, that press conference was a press conference for the ages. Uh, like you mentioned, Garrett Cole has a very unique voice, a little funny sounding, but sounds like, like Badger from Breaking Bad. There's this air of confidence of him. That's like, I don't, I don't normally use this voice, but I will, if you need me to <laughs> normally, I just do all that stuff on the mound. But if you need me to talk confidently, I will. And he did, he busted out the sign, uh, Amy Cole in that. That outfit, girl, she brought it. So I don't the remember. They're part of the Yankees. Cashman gets his his guy. We won't call him his white whale. And uh, Garrett Cole, man, uh, uh, biggest fears are injuries, which we don't even talk about. Because no, you're not allowed to talk about that. You're not allowed to That's talk about I, that. I was just telling you that you can't uh, talk. about You're that. not even allowed to tell people not to talk about it. And that well, now it seems like you're talking about it, which is just this. You got to start at the you know start you at the start at the front. I mean, that should be the motto this season. Start at the front. You got to start at the front. That's not even what you said. You said go from start to front. <laughs> yes, and I'm sticking with it. Um, I mean, baseball-wise, did you see Amy Cole's outfit yet? Killed it. Yeah, it's a nice outfit. It's like gold, right? A little one-piece kind of thing. I don't know yeah, what the girls call those. Jumpers? Is that a jumper? Uh, maybe a romper with pants. I, I don't think it's romper with pants is the term, but they're here, and he's going to be the ace. He's going to be the ace, and I we talked about this a little bit. I really hope what Cole brings is uh, an attitude on the mound that goes from starter to starter to starter because he kind of pitches like a dickhead on the mound, and I say that lovingly and endearingly. I like, I like, like, playoff Tanaka. Like, I like that energy, and we saw that with Paxton in, later in the season where he was – Pitching downhill with conviction, with emotion. That's what I. That's what I like to see, and I hope that he brings that and spreads it. 
I'm really excited to see those high fastballs. Anyone that's been following yeah. me knows that's my favorite pitch. And the, the Yankees haven't really had a guy who throws those. Those, like, fuck you fastballs. Here's my, here's my best fastball high in the zone. Try to hit it. Here's my heater. I dare you to hit it. Sevy did in 17, but I mean we haven't seen yeah. Se- we haven't seen Sevy pitch in a long time. Sevy um, Chapman, you could say, but uh no, I mean chat I, I'm talking about starting pitcher. Right. Right, right. Yeah. Um so I, I hope he he brings it to the rest of the crew. What do you think his first start's gonna be like? Like opening day call. Do you think he's nervous, excited? It's in Baltimore, which kind of it's makes in it Camden, yeah, which um, makes it not a spectacle, you know. Yeah, I mean, he's still going to be juiced up, and you know, hey, if there's one game at Camden Yards this year that is going to be juiced up, it's opening day with Garrett Cole on the mound. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be a Yankee crowd. Uh, I wouldn't be too shocked if if maybe there's uh the first inning he comes out hot because hey. You know, yes, the Yankees did offer him the most money, and that's why he signed with us. But B, like the kid was a Yankees fan. He's going to have a little bit of extra juice going, even even if it is Hans or Alberto in the box. Ooh, shout out. Shout out. Dude. About time we shouted Hans or Alberto out. Yeah. Uh, I'm already imagining like him not winning the first game, like pitching well, but something happens. You know, right. fluke baseball type thing. First game of the season, Orioles win. They're like the worst team ever. And then all the hot takes from that one start. I'm already imagining oh, that. Garrett Cole probably has the worst takes around him this season for sure. Yeah. Man. How many games do the Yankees have? So, like, who's going to pitch the first home opener? It's one, so it's Cole. I'm just going to guess. Cole, Paxton, Sevy, Tanaka. Cole, Paxton, Sevy, Tanaka, Cole. I lost track, and that was a dumb game. Yeah, and I don't think you had a fifth starter in there. They usually don't the first two times through. Right, if there's a if there's a bye. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, we've also seen them stretch out the pitching staff. So Garrett Cole will pitch at Yankee Stadium, though. I am with you. At some point. It looks like, by my math, Sevy or Tanaka is going to be the opening day home starter at Yankee Stadium. You almost want Tank, right? Not, almost not shots fired at Cole. I actually like that. Cole yeah. opens the season. Tank opens Yankee Stadium. And Paxson and Sevy kind of look at each other like, yo, we know they did that on purpose and we don't love it, but we get it. We get it. We're cool about it. We get it. All right, Jake, I have here the Zips projection for Garrett Cole. Zip. Now, baseball reference is telling me to pronounce it Garrett. And I kind of say Yo, what's Garrett. What's with that? Did you see that? I think it might be an East yes. Coast, West Coast thing because it says Gare, like hair, like Harrit, like Garrett. Garrett. And I say Garrett. I mean, you're saying it right. Don't don't get in your own head about it because that's when we start losing you on these names and then that's trouble. Thank you very much, Jake. You're swimming in your own head right now. No, Garrett. I'm with If you tell me I'm saying you're it right, hot. I'm all, all over you're it. You're hot. I'm all over it. Okay, so Garrett Cole, he's 29 years old, and in his 29th season, the Zips projection has him winning 16 games, losing seven. Now, I asked our doorman in the building, Victor, sure. what he projected. He projected 22 wins. That'd be good. He so had 20 last year with, with Houston. They have a 3-10 ERA, 32 games started, 200 innings pitched. I'd be... Fanta- that would be fantastic if he does that. Almost like don't even need him to. Like just make sure you're good for the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, so what do you have there? 289 FIP. So they're saying the Yankees defense is yeah. going to hurt him. Yeah. You, wow. Uh, you, love, you love a good FIP. Yeah, and I, I think what's important here for fan graphs is that these are averages. Um, hot take Jake. Wow, you got to start where you're finished to start. Um, mm-hmm. But he... Like, this is what the average season would be. And if Garrett Cole is in his prime and he's starting to peak as as his numbers have kind of shown, I mean, they they estimated him for 280 strikeouts. He had 326 last year. And you do wonder, you know, when Garrett Cole starts putting his season together, what it looks like, you know, is does he end up in the Cy Young race? Does he not? I think... Towards the end of the season, you know, it, we're going to start going Yankees on people and say, well, 
you know, uh, the goal is to win the World Series. So I want him feeling fresh. You're Like you said, you're right. I don't care if he hunts the 326 strikeouts from last year. That's insane. If homeboy is twirling it and he looks like Garrett Cole, I'm, I'm going to say the stats don't matter, but, I mean, they have to be in a certain area. Uh, yeah. I'll take that season. So 310 ERA, 16 wins. I don't care about the wins and losses. Tell me how many games the team won when he pitched. I care more about right. that if we're going to do it. But 310 ERA, I think I think you'd be happy with that. You you I mean, some people are going to demand like a under like 26 just because of the money. I don't need Garrett Cole to win the Cy Young. I need him to help the Yankees win a ton of games. Yeah. And a World Series. And yeah, it's funny. I, I've heard some people mention the the porch already. And uh I, I mean Houston's a pretty good hitters park itself. <laughs> uh they got the Crawford boxes in left. You know, you could get one out to right field pretty easily too. Is he gonna get porched a couple times? Absolutely. We all do, Jim. I have never been porched. You've never been porched. We'll get you no. porched. No, 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 no. I've been sporked. We've done some stuff on a porch before. We're, we're wrapping this up, but I do have one more topic I wanted to breach with you, Jake. All right, let's do it. Okay, are you with me? I'm with you. Are we going to do like an over-under that's, No, you can't, you can't do that because that's, that's, that's deep speech impediment stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't, you can't You can't do that. That's like uh, me saying I, you can't mock me for sucking. Okay, that's fair. rooted in me. Fair. You, you've made a living off of it. I am so close to the camera ready to have this combo, and you're delaying it. it. Uh, Garrett Cole had a personal catcher in Houston. Are Ooh. we concerned him and Gary don't see eye to eye and he requests Higgy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no. I agree. Let, let me say that. No, I, I actually answered that completely wrong. No, because I don't think the Yankees let it get to that point because Higgy Shioka is nice. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, we, we saw Austin Romine be, you know, a solid backup player for a year and the nicest way to Higgy, we, we don't know that like mm -hmm. he's filled in nicely at times, but we, we haven't seen Kyle Higashioka put in a full year of backup catcher. So then does, does that turn into Kratz? Does that turn into Tolly? Does that turn into all the old catchers we invite into camp? I'm not worried about it. I think if it, if it really became a situation, you go out and get someone he likes. But yeah, man, that that would be problematic. And we brought in a new catching coach. And hey, just throw the fastball. And no problem. Gary catches those. Gary catches them pretty well. Besides in really 2018 well. when he had the uh, best Tarpley. up shoulder and he couldn't catch him. Tarpley was a, was a punk. Are you concerned? <laughs> Uh, I'm concerned. I think the Yankees need to make sure it's not an option from the jump. Right. Like you, Gary's your guy. We'll work through whatever we need to work through. But because I mean, just think about that. You can't. You can't let that happen. Because game seven in the playoffs, we're going Higgy show over Gary. Like that. Yeah, no. That can't be an option. Yeah. All right. That about does it, Jake. That about ends the episode where we talk about. The Garrett Cole's 2000 and whatever season. Are you excited about that? Excited. Go Garrett Cole. See you later, guys.